In this video, we are going to show how to use the flashcard factory in Pear Deck. If you'd like to use the flashcard factory, you can go to the Pear Deck website, make sure you're logged in with Google, and then click on the flashcard factory card over on the right hand side of your screen. And this will bring up a blank vocabulary list that you can get started using. Flashcard Factory is a great option to get students involved in creating their own flashcards to help learn concepts and terms. So you can import or you can type in your own vocabulary list. In the upper left, there is a three bar menu and you can access vocabulary lists based on grade level for K-8. So we can check that out here. You've got your grade levels and you can click on those and they will bring up a, a sample vocabulary list for important words to know for that grade level. You can copy and paste from that list. They do recommend that you um, stick to five to 10 terms per session um, so that students can really focus and um, use time wisely. So we're just gonna grab a couple of the top words from this list and use the import option in the upper right and then paste our list here at the top. You'll see what it will look like as a preview to make sure that the list worked, and then it will bring in all the words. And then again, you can um, type those in on your own, um, or you can do the import option. If you have a list in a Google Doc or a Word document, um, you can copy and paste those in the import feature. You can type in your own definition or copy and paste your own definition, or you can click on the definitions button and it will bring up definitions from Merriam-Webster and you can choose from the options in that drop down list. So we're gonna go through and use the um, pre-generated uh, definitions from the dictionary. So we'll go through and finish um, clicking on those um, using that right button and then just clicking on the definition that we think would match best for our class. You can always add another term using that button down at the bottom if needed. And then over on the right, we can click play flashcard factory when we are ready to have our students join. We we'll wanna make sure that our screen is visible on the projector so students can see it then students will need to go to joinpd.com and type in the code to join our flashcard factory. You can share the joinpd.com link um, via Google Classroom and then have students type in the code to join. On the student side, this is what they'll see once they first join. They'll have the letter from the foreman with their tasks. They can work with a group. They'll be assigned a partner in um, and a team in Pear Deck. And then they will be adding a drawing and an example or a definition for the terms that they are given. So here we can see our teams. Um, so automatically it will create those teams. You can shuffle those using shuffle on the right. On the student side, this is what it will look like when everyone is joined. They can click ready to go. And then on the teacher side, it will um, allow you to get started by clicking let's play. Once you've clicked that, then you are now in the flashcard factory. This is what will be up on the screen. You can see the um, words are up there for the day shift and the night shift in orange and blue. You can see the example total in the upper right. And once you, students have submitted flashcards, they'll go on that conveyor belt and ready for quality control. So on the student view, this is what they will see. Um, they'll see the word and definition if you included a definition over on the left. And then they can include a drawing working with a partner or working on their own. They can um, add a drawing example for that word using the tools down at the bottom. There's a normal um, draw tool as well as a straight line and an eraser and a text box option. Then their next step is going to be to write an example. So this is where you could have students come up with a student-friendly definition. If you didn't want to include definitions uh, to create Flashcard Factory, you do not need definitions. You can just um, play the game with just the words. Um, so students could uh, type their own definitions here 
or they could do an example, which is what we're doing. So we've got an example sentence um, using accurate, and then it brings up this um, view where they can edit um, before they ship it off to the factory. Once they decide it's good, then it will be dropped onto the conveyor belt here on the screen for the uh, whole class to see. Here's another example on the student side um, of adding a uh, drawing for um, representing accurate, and then this will be submitted as well. So they can type in that example here, and you'll see this one's color-coded for the day shift. So we have a student on the day shift team, as well as a student on the night shift team. And so um, it does keep track of points for the uh, flashcards that you have submitted. You can see that in the upper right, that night shift has already submitted a term. And here it goes down to the conveyor belt. So when students have submitted their flashcards, then you can go on to quality control um, by clicking on that next phase button. Then as a class, you'll go through all of the submitted flashcards um, by clicking on them um, on the teacher side and you'll vote and choose which ones you want to um, uh, submit for your class set. And then that team will get points for the number of flashcards that they have accepted. So you can hover over the card to see the actual student name um, if needed um, for who uh, submitted that. And then on the student side, they will see whichever flashcard you have selected full screen. So you can see that again here, um, whichever one you have selected on the teacher screen, students see full screen on their side. So as you vote, you can choose to approve, they get the stamp of approval, and then you can discuss if maybe um, the example um, is great, but maybe the image doesn't fit as well, so um, it might not be accepted. And then when you're ready and complete, um, it will take you to you've made an amazing set where you can print or save as a PDF. So you can bring up the print view and you can see that these are printed so that you can fold over um, or cut and paste flashcards. And then on the student side, it will let them know they did a great job and um, have kind of that color coded um, night shift, day shift. And then they do have a print flashcard set on the student side where students can open that up and save as a PDF instead of printing. So save that as a PDF and then they can use those flashcards um, as needed um, and save it to their drive. So that is how you can create a flashcard factory um, activity for your students using a vocabulary list.